Okay, so first of all, I have a table here with concentrations of this compound for the years from 2013 to 2016. And I have the median here, which is a kind of average, and then the maximum and the minimum. And I want to find a graph I can use to plot all of these values together. And I have found two different ways of doing this. So first of all, I'm going to highlight the whole of this table, and I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to insert a column chart. Now I'm going to click on the median value, and I'm going to right-click and change series chart type, and I'm going to change the median from a clustered column to a line. And I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to double-click on this line, and I am going to format it. I'm going to make it a slightly darker blue and I'm going to make the line a little bit thinner. Now I'm going to select the maximum value and I'm going to change the fill on here to a lighter blue and I'm going to change the border so it is white. And I'm also going to make the fill on here 70% transparency. Then I'm going to go onto the median value and I'm going to change this to white. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change these series overlap to 100%. Then I'm going to change the gap width to 0%. Now I'm going to make the chart a little bit skinnier so it looks a bit more in proportion. And I'm going to add data labels. Now I'm going to move the data labels, so I'm going to get the minimum values to be inside end, and then the median values to be above the line. Now I'm just going to delete some of the features that I don't want, so I don't want the legend, or the grid lines, or the title. Okay, and there's the first graph. Now I'm going to make the second graph. I'm going to highlight all of this data and go to insert and this time make a stock column graph. Now I'm going to right click on this and select data and I'm going to remove series one. Then I'm going to edit the horizontal axes to be the years. Then I'm going to select OK and OK again. Now I am going to delete these boxes and I am going to go up here and I am going to select series 2 and I am going to make this into a solid line and I want that to be dark blue. Now I am going to go up here to these lines and I am going to make them a light blue and 70% transparency again and then I am going to make the width 40 now I'm going to make this graph skinnier until there's just a small gap like that. Now I'm going to add data labels. This time I'm going to move the data labels so they're above and so these ones are above and then these ones are below. Now I'm just going to delete some of the features that I don't want again, and the grid lines, and the title. And now I have two almost identical graphs showing the same data, but being made in two different ways. So I have the minimum values here, and then the average values represented by the line, and the maximum values. And I have that for each year. Okay, and that is it.